back in Franklin, Massachusetts with a progress report on air quality instruments and talking about technology and innovation. I'm here with Dieter Kita. He's our director of R&D in this area. Dieter, with your experience in this industry and, and for air quality instrumentation, what have been some of the sort of changes over the last number of years and where do you see it going? Oh, there have been huge changes. We've gone from, from pretty basic technology, analog technology and moving on to digital and the computers. And then, of course, lasers. Lasers, when I started out, weren't around. Now they're really, the, I think, the, the focal point of our new generation of products. And when you're working with customers, what are the things that are really keeping them up at night? And, you know. It's really important for, from the regulatory standpoint to get very precise measurements. Right. These newer technologies allow us to get much more specific, much more accurate and precise. And they're very fast responding. So what we are good at is taking something that's complex and making it seem simple and look simple and allow the user really to operate it in, in a really straightforward uh, you know, way. Tell us about some of these technologies that are really uh, coming together to solve our tough t analytical challenges that our customers are facing. Well, tunable diode laser technology is number one in, in sort of the uh, near infrared and, and very beginning of the mid infrared, looking at the greenhouse gases. We also have either more innovative lasers, quantum cascade lasers, that are looking at farther into the infrared, looking at some species like sulfur trioxide, things that are really important to power plants that burn coal that have high sulfur. What happens is that pollutant can cause pollution control equipment to go away, rust. And without having that, I think they would not get the money for their investment in pollution control equipment. But we're also doing particulate measurement. We're doing speciation in particular. Another big problem, of course, is the breathing of dust. And we have technologies uh, that I don't think any other company has. Learn more about our environmental monitoring technologies. Visit thermoscientific.com slash AQI.